In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, and welcome to the Shrine and Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Good morning, Father. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins, and we ask God's mercy and forgiveness. In all humility, all together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary of our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. At the time when the Lord God made the earth and the heavens, while as yet there was no field shrub on earth, and no grass of the field had sprouted, for the Lord God had sent no rain upon the earth, and there was no man to till the soil. But a stream was welling up out of the earth and was watering all the surface of the ground. The Lord God formed man out of the clay of the ground and blew into his nostrils the breath of life. And so man became a living being. Then the Lord God planted a garden in Eden in the east, and he placed there the man whom he had formed out of the ground. The Lord God made various trees grow the, that there were delightful to look at and good for food. With the tree of life in the middle of the garden and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, the Lord God then took the man and settled him in the garden of Eden to cultivate and care for it. The Lord God gave man this order you are free to eat from any of the trees of the garden except the tree of knowledge of good and evil. From that tree you shall not eat. The moment you eat from it, you are surely doomed to die. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul. O oh, Lord, my God, you are great indeed. You are clothed with majesty and glory, robed in light as with a cloak. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. All creatures look to you to give them food in due time. When you give it to them, they gather it. When you open your hand, 
they are filled with good things. Oh, bless the Lord, my soul. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. Oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Please stand. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus summoned the crowd again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. Nothing that enters one from outside can defile that person, but the things that come out from within are what defile. When he got home away from the crowd, his, his disciple questioned him about the parable. He said to them, Are even you likewise without understanding? Do you not realize that everything that goes into a person from outside cannot defile, since it enters not the heart but the stomach and pass out into the latrine? Thus he declared, all foods clean. But what comes out of the man, that is what defiles him. From within the man, from his heart, come evil thoughts, unchastity, thief, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogant, fully. All these evils come from within and they defile. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Nais ng Diyos na tayo ay maging mga banal. Kaya ang dahilan kung bakit narito kayo ngayon sa loob ng simbahan, nagsisimba, nagdadasal, pupunta ng manawag. Nais ng Diyos na tayo ay maging mga banal. At ang kabanalan ay di nasusukat kung ano ang meron tayo o kung ano ang ating nagawa, ngunit kung anong uri ng tao tayo. Our holiness is measured not by what we have or by what we have done, by, by, but by what we have become. Ang ating kabanalan ay sinusukat hindi kung ano ang meron tayo o kung ano ang ating nagawa. Ngunit kung ano ng u, anong uri ng tao tayo. Kasi yung ating mga nagawa, kung anong meron tayo, panlabas lang yan eh. Yan nakikita ng tao. Pero kung anong uri ng tao tayo, yan ang nasa loob. At ang tang Diyos lamang ang nakakakita at nakakaalam. Mare ka kasing magbait-baitan eh sa paningin ng tao. Mare kang magbanal-banalan eh sa paningin ng tao. Mare kang magmalinis eh sa paningin ng tao. Pero hindi sa mata ng Diyos. 
ang mata ng Diyos na nakakita at nakakaalam ng lahat. Ang titina ng tao, yung kung anong meron ka at kung ano ang nagawa mo. Kung nakikita ng Diyos, ang motibo mo, bakit mo ginawa ito? Alam ng Diyos yung ginawa mong nakaraang taon? Alam ng Diyos yung ginawa mo nung bata ka? Alam ng Diyos ang gagawin mo pagkatapos ng misang to. Alam niyo ng Diyos ang ginawa mo, ginagawa mo, at gagawin mo. Alam ng Diyos ang motibo mo. At ang Diyos naman nakakaalam nun. At ikaw. Hindi ka maring maglihim sa Diyos. Maring ka maglihim sa kaibigan mo. Maring ka maglihim sa pamilya mo. Maring ka maglihim sa makasamahan mo. Maring ka nga maglihim sa asawa mo eh. Pero hindi sa Diyos. Hindi sa Diyos. Alam niyang lahat ang tungkol sa iyo. Kaya hindi ka maring magkunwari eh. Hindi ka maring magmaang-maangan eh. Hindi ka maring magbanal-banalan o magmalinis sa harap ng Diyos na nakakaalam ang lahat. Our holiness is measured not by what we have done, but by what we have become. St. Catherine of Siena tells us, When you become what God wants you to be, you will set the world on fire. Ibig sabihin, pag ikaw ay naging yung uri ng tao na gusto ng Diyos na maging ikaw, nagliliwanag ka. At nabibigyan mo ng liwanag yung iba. Naliligtas mo yung sarili mo at nakakatulong ka sa kaligtasan ng iba. You become what God wants you to be. Ito yung magandang paalaala sa atin. Na sa ating pagdasal, sa ating pagpasok sa simbahan, sa ating pagpunta rito, hindi lang yung tayo'y may hinihingi, tayo'y nagpapasalamat, o tinutupad natin yung ating panata. Okay po yan. Yung ating mga hinihiling ay gumaling sa ating sakit, sanay mawala yung problema, sanay magkaayos, sanay magkaroon ng kapayapaan, sanay mawala na yung lahat ng mga kapahamakan sa ating paligid. Okay po yun. Pero laliman naman natin. Ano yun? Isa alang-alang natin ang ating kaligtasan. Anong uri ng tao na tayo ngayon? Sa mata ng Diyos. Hindi sa mata ng tao. Kasi nakikita ng tao, panlabas lang eh. Yung nakikita ng Diyos, kung ano ang nasa loob mo. Ulitin ko ha, our holiness and our salvation does not come from what we have or what we have done. Our salvation lies on what we have become. Ang ating kaligtasan ay nakasalalay hindi kung ano ang meron tayo o kung anong ating nagawa, ngunit kung anong uri ng tao tayo. Tanong, anong uri ng tao ka na? Ang Diyos at ikaw lamang ang makakasagot. At diyan nakasalalay ang iyong kaligtasan. Please stand. Our worship is meaningless unless it proceeds from a sincere heart. We pray now to God the Father to create within us a clean heart and a steadfast spirit. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the church may always be renewed and be purified by the words of Christ's gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that we may bring hope to the despairing more through our loving actions than through pious words. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our hearts may be filled with the honest desire to live for one another so that we may worship in spirit and in truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the dying may be comforted by the Father of all love and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our deceased brothers and sisters may join in the true worship in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the intentions of this Mass, and in the silence of our hearts, we present to the Lord our own personal intentions. At ipagdasal din po natin ang mga biktima ng lindol sa Turkey at Syria, yung mga namatay, lalong-lalo na po yung mga namatay na hindi handang humarap sa ating tagapaglikha. Pagdasal po natin sila. Heavenly Father, purify our hearts so that we may not lose sight of our goal to love you above all else and to become what you want us to be. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O Lord, our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that you may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation to Christ our Lord. And so in the company with the choirs of angels, we praise you. And with joy, we proclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Sana in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed the Holy o Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. 
for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Do not look on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and the unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Here is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat, sa inyong pagtanggap ng komunyon, bago po humarap, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang hostia at sumagot ng Amen, at isubo na agad ang hostia. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad, at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan, ang hostia upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po.
please stand. We'll now pray the litany of gratitude after the COVID pandemic. Let us approach the Lord who makes all things new for all the blessings and graces we receive during the COVID pandemic. Let us say together, thanks be to God. Thanks be to God for reminding us of the fragility of life and opening our minds to what is really essential. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God for allowing us to connect with one another despite the isolation that sickness had imposed on us. Let us pray to the Lord. Thanks be to God for the heroic kindness of those who provided us with scientific, social, and spiritual help and for the gift of newly discovered vaccines. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God for the gift of assuring presence when we were anxious and depressed during the pandemic. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. Loving God, you entered a world of sickness, suffering, and death, and you know the fears we face. Accept our thanksgiving for your provident love during the COVID pandemic. As you wept at the death of Lazarus, breathe the breath of life everlasting on all those who died from the coronavirus. You have turned our fears into joy, and for this we thank and praise you. May the help of Christians pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel pray for us. San Roque pray for us. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo at pakikiisa sa banal na misa. At patuloy po nating pagnilay-nilayan at isabuhay ang mensahe ng ating Ebanghelyo para sa misang ito. Our holiness is measured not by what we have or by what we have done, but by what we have become. May we become what God wants us to be. Pag-ingat po kayo sa pag-uwi at naway lagi po kayong pagpalain ng ating Panginoon at ng ating mahal na ina hanggang sa muli po. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, candles, images, oil, scapulas, crucifixes, and other articles of devotion be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Yeah.